For this week's mindset during the weekly power up, I want to focus on something that's really challenging right now, um, and that is clarity. I want to tell a quick story about why I know that clarity is a critical thing to have right now, um, especially when we're working from home and being leaders, um, either to ourselves or to our teams. Um, so I just want to tell this quick story about kind of my first foray into being my own boss. So it's the fall of 2018. Um, I'm really excited because I finally have control over my schedule. Um, and I'm able to just kind of like bowl with ideas. Uh, that was a really extreme period of time for me. Um, I would go down different rabbit holes of like ebooks and group programs and workshops and all these different things. Um, but I found that my ideas didn't necessarily always gain traction. Um, and oftentimes it felt a lot like I was just spinning my wheels and there wasn't really much purpose. Um, this led, unfortunately, to a lot of self-doubt, um, a lot of hopelessness, and just a huge, I didn't know what to do. Um, and it was really all because I was lacking clarity. Uh, and I, I used to lay awake in the mornings. I would wake up before my alarm would go off and I would lay there terrified of how I was possibly going to fill the hours during the day. Um, and right now, um, being quarantined again, starting to feel like that a little bit on the weekends. So I'm working on figuring that out. Um, but I found in that time that it was really hard to feel productive because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, and I didn't have anyone that I could talk to. And that led to a huge like mental health crisis for me and just bad news. Um, I did not end that situation well. Um, and I really don't want this to happen to other people. So right now, this is why I think that clarity and communication about that clarity are super important. But right now, we're sort of in this tricky situation because it's really hard to speak with clarity because no one knows what's happening. Um, I wrote this article previously, uh, like last last week, two weeks ago, um, and I commented how for entrepreneurs, you know, it, it could be easy as a founder to, you know, think, oh, if I had VCs or if I had a board, you know, maybe they could tell me what to do. Uh, but the fact is that no one really knows what's happening. And so no one can really tell us what to do. Um, and I've found that that is hard to sit with. Um, and so I'm realizing that we can't necessarily set goals for ourselves that are super rooted in specifics. Um, because we don't have control. We don't know what life is going to look like in six weeks or three months or six months. Um, but what we do have control over is how we continue to respond to things and how we respond to what comes up for us in the next six weeks, three months, six months. Um, and so I find that I'm often the best at feeling like I can respond rather than react when I'm really, I'm grounded into myself, which kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier with having some uh, schedule or some structure or at least clarity of the direction that you're going. Uh, and so last week we talked about uh, kind of the importance of non-negotiables and structuring your life around those to sort of say like, this is something that I'm going to do every Monday morning. This is something that I'm going to do every Wednesday morning. Every Thursday night, we're going to make it spaghetti night and we'll watch this show. Like we can put these different things into our lives. Um, and hopefully in this season of not having much clarity about what's happening, you know, we can find clarity by trusting ourselves um, and coming into our own as leaders and coming into our own as people. Um, and so that's what I wanted to talk about this week is sort of that clarity and how we can encourage more clarity in our lives. Um, maybe what are some things that help you feel more clear 
Um, how can we have clarity with our teams as we're working remote and away from each other? Uh, so I just wanted to bring this conversation up about clarity and communication uh, and encourage you to think about these this week to think of how you can be clear with yourself and how you can be clear with your teams um, and try to go in a direction of finding some grounded clarity.